The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A. Everglades High School takes on the College Academy tonight on School Duel. I am Lisa Lee and welcome to our inaugural episode of School Duel. I'm so excited. This goes School Duel is where 16 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And the winner gets to walk away with a school trophy from Edco, championship rings from Herf Jones, $200 gift certificates from IKEA, a $1,000 check for each student, courtesy of Chick-fil-A, and so much more. Now, with that much at stake, let's take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, this first round game matches Everglades High School versus the College Academy High School in what is going to be quite a showdown. I heard a lot of smash talking behind the scenes, and the winner between the two schools will be moving on to the second round. But wait, of course there's more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich meals for an entire year. Sound good, guys? Yeah. And lady. <laughs> All right, guys, before we get started, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's start with the Everglades Gators. Woo, give it up. We have Peter Reedy, a junior. Anthony Perez, a sophomore. Daniel Rodriguez, a senior. And the captain of Everglades team, Arnav Agarwal, a senior. Now let's meet the Broward College Academy. Justin Daniel, a senior. Christopher Mora, a senior as well. Raisa Chinawala. Chinikamwala. I was close. Ah, senior. And the captain of the Broward College Academy's team is Abia. Abia. Did I get it right? Yeah. All right. Senior. Yeah. All right, guys. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here it's school against school competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Each question is worth 10 points. And if a question is incorrect, then the other school, they then have the opportunity to steal the points. All right, schools, prepare for the warning shot. First question deals with my favorite sport, basketball. What is the name of a basketball shot taken from a stationary position? Raisa. A free throw? Incorrect. Everglades, would you like to try and steal that? Nope. Oh, that's a set. Set shot. Next question deals with trees. The longleaf, loblolly, lodgepole, and ponderosa are what kind of trees? Oh, judges, did he get it in time? No, I'm sorry, Justin. You were just that close, but it's part of the pine. Next question, musical abbreviations. To an audio file, what is the meaning of the abbreviation Hi-Fi? Yes, Justin? High fidelity. Oh, you were right. Look at that. See what happens when you guess sometimes? Congratulations. A horse, of course, is the next question. A sturdy breed of pony came from what wintry islands north of Scotland? Peter? The Shetland Islands? Yes, correct. The Shetland Islands. Very good. Next, we're going to move on to bacteria. Some bacteria divide about every 20 minutes. At this rate, how many generations could be produced in 24 hours? Yes, or not? 72. 72 is correct. All right, guys, ancient philosophers. Raised in a warrior family, the famous thinker and social philosopher Confucius was born in what country? Yes, Abia. China. China is correct. Good job. College Academy. 
All right, guys, it's time for the where am I question brought to you by Spirit Airlines, the home of the $9 Fair Club. All right, contestants, you are going to be given a famous location and a clue and then asked to tell us the name of the place described. Is everyone ready? All right, what? Come on. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah, here we go. This is a historic monument and the world's largest museum. It is also the most visited. Yes, Raisha with the, College Academy. The Louvre. The Louvre, very good. I've just finished the information. It is also the most visited art museum in the world, known for containing Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa painting within its walls in Paris. Very good, good job. History of mu music, we'll move on. Which category of musical instruments is thought to be the oldest? Yes, Abia. Wind. Incorrect. Everglades, would you like to steal it? Anthony? String. No, incorrect. It's actually percussion. You knew that one? Yeah. Integers. What is the sum of the positive even integers less than 10? Abia. Uh, 20. Correct. Very good. All right, moving along. She was born Stephanie Germanata, but became Raisha. Ga Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, <laughs> very good. Raw, raw, raw. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're going to move on. A question about exercise. Name the waste gas in your body that is released most dramatically during strenuous. Abia? Carbon dioxide. Very good, carbon dioxide. Heavenly objects. Here we go. What object in the solar system has a mass about 300,000 times that of Earth? Abia. Jupiter. Incorrect. Everglades. Want to try and steal that? Arnav. The sun. Correct. The sun. Very good. All right, moving along. TV themes. What words complete this verse from a TV theme song? Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away. Abia. On my way to where the uh, air. <laughs> Incorrect. I'll finish the question for you guys. Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away, on my way to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to? Anthony? Sesame Street. Yes, Sesame Street. Oh, you had to pull really far, way back childhood days for that one, huh? Oh, did you hear the buzzer? All right, well, that buzzer means an end to the warning shot round. We have College Academy leading with 60 points, but Everglades is trailing right behind them with 40 points. Don't worry, guys, because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Team Member Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Changed to the Leadership Scholarship Program in 1996, Chick-fil-A has awarded over $20 million in scholarships to team members who are active in their schools and communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess strong leadership abilities, good teamwork, and a desire to succeed. Chick-fil-A is dedicated to its people and education. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Hi, I'm Jim Garashi for Broward School Bee. Here on BSB, we highlight the wonderful stories that take place every day inside Broward schools. Join us as students explore our environment, the arts, sports, special events that make Broward unique, and our teacher spotlight, allowing us to highlight a teacher who is truly making a difference in our schools. So make sure you tune in to Broward School Bee throughout the school year. Broward School Beat can be seen right here on Beacon TV. Invest in yourself. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Duel. Now, our first round of action ended with the College Academy leading with 60 points and Everglades right behind them with 40 points. But of course, there's so much more to come as we enter round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. Now, the school that wins then gets three bonus questions worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, you ready? Because it's time to joust. I 
like that our audience is ready. We have Abia from the College Academy and Arnav from Everglades. Here we go. This is your toss-up question, which is worth 10 points. Name the gray sandstone building designed by James Hoban that stands near the Potomac in Washington, D.C. It was once known as the President's Palace, but is now known for its lack of color. Yes, Abia. The White House. The White House, correct. Very good. So now, College Academy, you guys have the opportunity to answer the following questions. Everglades, you're not allowed to answer during this period. Bonus question number one is worth five points. The Iolani Palace was home to the last monarch of this U.S. island and 50th state. Yes, Abia. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. Good job. And these, all of these questions, I apologize, deal with palaces. Bonus question number two, which is worth 10 points. Identify the complex of palaces and shrines adjacent to Tiananmen Square, so named because most Chinese were... The Forbidden City. Wait, Christopher? Tell me again. The Forbidden City. Correct. I like to say your name first. <laughs> All right, Forbidden City is correct. Good job. Bonus question number three is worth 15 points. Name the palace in which the two houses of British Parliament meet to conduct business. Abia. No, incorrect. It's Westminster Palace. All right, the next two contestants, we have Raisha and Daniel. Come on down for your toss-up questions. Of course, your toss-up question, just like everyone else, is worth 10 points. Astronaut Alan Shepard hit a golf ball nearly a half a mile on the surface of this celestial body. Yes, Raisha. The moon? Correct, the moon. All right, College Academy. The following bonus questions all deal with the moon. Bonus question number one is worth five points. What percentage of the light we receive from the moon is reflected? Yes, Abia. All of it. Correct, 100%. Good job. Bonus question number two, worth 10 points. What occurs when the moon passes behind the Earth such that the Earth blocks the sun's rays from striking the moon? Abia. A lunar eclipse. Correct, a lunar eclipse. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. At any given phase, what percentage of the moon's surface is not in sunlight? Justin? 50%. Correct, 50%. Good job. All right, Christopher and Anthony, come on down. You are up. You guys nervous? No, don't be. Come on. Here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. Journalistic essay in which newspapers express an opinion as opposed to... Editorial. Editorial is very good. Don't worry, Christopher, we'll bond and you'll let me say your name first soon, sooner or later. <laughs> the following bonus questions, College Academy, all deals with newspapers. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Newspapers include what section filled with myriads or advertisements? Christopher. Classifieds. Very good. And look at that. You let me say your name first. Woohoo! <laughs> bonus question number two is worth ten points. What term is used in journalism for an ongoing series of articles in a newspaper by one author, often including opinionated observations? No one knows? It's a column. Ah, you knew it, didn't you? I know you did. Bonus question number three is worth 15 points. In a newspaper article, what does a byline tell you? Yes, Aisha. The title? Incorrect, the author, or the person, of course, who wrote it. All right, Justin and Peter, come on down. Here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. What is the total number of I's and S's in Mississippi? Yes, Peter. Eight. Correct, good job. All right, Everglades. The following bonus questions all deal with spelling, so please spell your answers, okay? Bonus question number one is worth five points. Spell the term rhyming with sad that refers to a colored rectangular pattern sometimes used in clothing. Or not. Plaid, P-L-A-I-D. Correct, good job. Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Spell the word meaning Quote, a powerful, influential business person that is a homonym for another word meaning an object with the property of attracting iron. Peter. Magnate, 
M-A-G-N-A-T-E. Correct. Good job. Your last bonus question, number three, is worth 15 points. Spell a word that rhymes with Christmas that indicates a narrow strip of land. Peter. Is Isthmus. I-S-T-H-M-U-S. All right. Good job. Very good job, guys. All right. And did you hear the buzzer? All right, that buzzer means the end to the joust. And we have the College Academy still leading with 140 points. Everglades has 80 points. We're going to be right back with some more School Duel just after these messages. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bved.net while there's still space available. Parents and students, wake up every school day with Before the Bell, an informational show providing the 411 on what's happening that day in Broward Public Schools. The show includes lunch menus, community and school calendars, and everything else you need to know for a great day. Before the Bell can be seen every school day starting at 6.30 a.m. right here on Beacon TV. Invest in yourself. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making a school duel possible. And welcome back to School Duel, everyone, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion? Now this first round match has Everglades High competing against the Broward College Academy High School. Now we do have College Academy leading with 140 points. Everglades has 80 points. Now right now we are ready for the rapid fire round. Here each school will pick a category. They will then try to answer 10 questions within 60 seconds from that category. Each question is worth 10 points. The other school will then have a chance to steal any missed questions. Now, since Everglades is trailing behind with 80 points, we are going to be nice and give them the opportunity to pick their category. Today's topics are, it's the plain truth, and come on baby, drive my car. So which category would you guys like, Everglades? It's the plain truth. It's the plain truth. All right, high schools, here comes the rapid fire round. Okay, Everglades. This category deals with questions about airplanes. Now remember, you do have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. Don't wait on me in this category to say your name. Just answer because I want to give you the opportunity to get through quickly, okay? Here we go, and music. The Apollo 14 command module was named after what site in North Carolina where the Wright brothers first successfully flew? Yes or not? Kitty Hawk. What adjective means that an airplane flies faster than the speed of sound? Supersonic. Moving an aircraft slowly on the ground before takeoff or after landing is called what? Taxi. In 1932, she set the woman's nonstop transcontinental. Amelia Earhart. To a pilot, what does ETA stand? Estimated time of arrival. What is the shape of a delta wing? Delta. Stealth, stealth aircrafts are designed to avoid detection by what? Radar. What war featured the first large-scale use of poison gas, machine guns, and aircraft? World War II. With respect to flight, name the aerodynamic force that opposes the direction of motion. I will now give the College Academy the opportunity to steal the questions that Everglades missed. Starting with, what is the shape of a delta wing? Yes, Abby. Triangle. Very good. Next question is, what war featured the first large-scale use of poison gas, machine guns, and aircraft? Abia? World War I. Very good. With respect to flight, name the aerodynamic force that opposes the direction of motion. Yes, Abia? Drag. Very good. 
All right, moving along. It's time for the College Academy to answer their questions. This deals on the category, come on baby, drive my car. The following category contains questions about automobiles. Each question is worth 10 points and you will have 60 seconds to answer them. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. What injury associated with automobile accidents that affects the soft tissue of the neck is caused by sudden extension and flexion? Raisa? What is the synonym for an automobile's gas pedal? The accelerator. With respect to snow or mud, what property of a tire is improved with wider threads? Tread. Who is called, quote, the man who put America on wheels? Ford. Before they were called cars or automobiles, self-propelled vehicles were called what? What in, where in a motor vehicle is there a quantity of sulfuric acid? In the battery. In February of 1942, what was happening in the world to cause the Detroit assembly lines to discontinue producing cars for some time to come? World War II. Name the solid shaft in an automobile that transfers engine power from the drive shaft to the drive, drive wheels. Oh, missed that one. Okay, now I'm gonna give Everglades High the opportunity to answer the questions that College Academy missed. Starting with this one, with respect to snow or mud, what property of a tire is improved with wider threads? Peter? Traction. Correct. Before they were called cars or automobiles, self-propelled vehicles were called what? Arna? Automotives. Incorrect, that would be horseless carriages. Oh, did you guys hear that buzzer? All right, guys, that means the end of the rapid fire round. We have College Academy leading with 220 points. Everglades has 150 points. Well, let's go ahead and take a short break right now. Give these guys time to breathe, and we'll be right back for the final showdown. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Team Member Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Changed to the Leadership Scholarship Program in 1996, Chick-fil-A has awarded over $20 million in scholarships to team members who are active in their schools and communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess strong leadership abilities, good teamwork, and a desire to succeed. Chick-fil-A is dedicated to its people and education. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Are you interested in learning about TV production? Be a part of the Briar Teen News Team, South Florida's only teen-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteennews.org and click on Join Our Team. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making a school duel possible. Hi everyone, we are back with our first episode of School Duel and we have a good match going as the College Academy is leading with 220 points to Everglades High School with 150 points. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round where schools will go against each other with toss-up questions. Now this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And remember if a question is incorrect the other school then has the opportunity to steal the points. All right, schools, it's time for the final showdown. Are you ready? <laughs> Our audience is ready. I like it. Here we go. The first question deals with linguistics. Flemish is the main language in what nation? Abia. But Belgium. Correct. Good job. Oceans. Which ocean has the greatest average depth? Yes, Peter. The Pacific. Very good, Pacific, correct. Anthropology, name the largest land mammal that provided a significant source of food for those who first, Justin, with College Academy? Uh, the mammoth. The mammoth, very good. Weigh problems, how many ounces are in four pounds, Arnav? 64. Very good, 64. Football, 
What is a receiver of a punt indicating when he raises one arm above his head, Justin? A fair catch. Very good, fair catch. Florida politics. He served as the 43rd governor of Florida. His A-plus plan mandates standardized testing in Florida's public schools, and he is a member of a famous family. Yes, Peter? Jeb Bush. Correct, Jeb Bush. Moving on, it is time for the Who Am I question, brought to you by Huntington Learning Centers, America's tutoring providers. Now, in this question, you'll be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell us his or her name. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, I see that energy, Christopher. Here we go. Who am I? This Major League Baseball third baseman was born July 27, 1975. He owns a Mercedes-Benz dealership in League City, Texas. He went to school in Miami and is the youngest player ever to hit 500 home runs. He previously played shortstops for the Mariners and the Rangers, but currently plays, yes, Peter? A-Rod? That's right, Peter. A-Rod, also known as Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, did you hear that buzzer? Well, that sound brings an end to our first edition of School Duel as the College Academy leads with 280 points over Everglades with 230 points. But I want to say great job to everyone. You guys did a phenomenal job for our first episode of School Duel. This also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A Challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Abia. Congratulations to the College Academy. All right, congratulations on your Chick-fil-A sandwich meals for an entire year. That's what you are winning. And we want to thank all of our sponsors at this time for making School Duel possible. And please make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel, Monday night at 7 p.m. as Coral Springs Charter takes on Douglas High in another exciting first round match. And of course, don't forget to visit our website, schoolduel.tv. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A.